Top 10 Haunted Places You Should Never Go It's possible that when you think about Halloween, images of candlelight jack, bow, lanterns, scarecrows, and witches flying on broomsticks come to mind. However, there are places all around the world that have an even creepier atmosphere. In this video, we will go over the top 10 most haunted locations that you absolutely should not go to. So let's start. Number 10. Mexico's Island of the Dolls, Isla de las Muecas. An excursion to an island off the coast of Mexico sounds like a wonderful idea, but not if the island is full of dolls that appear to be dead. Although the area around the island is somewhat crowded, the island itself is mostly uninhabited, except for hundreds of dolls that are strung up in the trees. It is alleged that the majority of them are naked and have eyes that move. According to an urban legend, the dolls began to be hung after the prior custodian of the island discovered the body of the drowned girl and began to experience hauntings from her ghost. Number 9. The Ohio State Reformatory at Mansfield. This former jail in Mansfield, Ohio, served as the setting for several scenes in the film The Shawshank Redemption. That is all you need to know about it. There were a lot of prisoners who passed away while they were serving their sentences, and their ghosts may be still wandering the corridors here. This lends credence to the urban legend that it's haunted. If you dare, you can go on a guided or self-guided tour between Thursdays and Sundays throughout the year at the location, even though it has been defunct since 1990 and is no longer in service. Number 8. Nagoro, Japan. Small town even though Japan is known for its quaintness, this creepy village in the Aya Valley has almost 400 huge dolls but only 30 residents. Tsukimi Ayano, a resident of the area, is the one who creates them in remembrance of those who have passed away. They have a striking resemblance to their human counterparts who have also passed away, right down to wearing the clothes they wore when they were alive. This adds to the creepiness factor as they silently stare at you from all angles as you walk around town. They are not huddled together in a single location. Rather, you can find them perched along the riverbanks fishing, sitting at desks in the local school or waiting for the bus. Number 7. La Recoleta Cemetery, Argentina. The Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris and the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles are two examples of stunning cemeteries. However, this resting place in Buenos Aires is rumored to be seriously haunted, and even the tourism website for the city endorses the neo-Gothic cemetery status as haunted. As you make your way through the cemetery with its six, 400 monuments, coffins, mausoleums, and gravestones, you may hear the jingling of keys. Number 6. The Trans, Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, West Virginia. The Trans, Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, which dates back to the middle of the 1800s and served as a home for the mentally sick at that time, is now accessible for visits from March through November, making excellent use of the excitement that Halloween generates. In 1990, the hospital was designated a National Historic Landmark. Nevertheless, it was closed down in 1994. And ever since then, there have been rumors that ghosts haunt the property. Number 5. Sedlak Ossuary, Katna Ora, Czech Republic. Have you ever heard of the so-called Church of Bones? This is the end. This monastery which has been designated Holy Land and was originally used as a common burial site, is home to somewhere in the neighborhood of 50, 000 human skeleton. They are then painstakingly assembled, one component at a time, into various lighting fixtures such as chandeliers, candelabras, and candle holders. In a manner analogous to that of Buddhist prayer flags, bones are also hung up there. The design originates from the year 1870 when a local man was commissioned to transform bones that had been preserved in a crypt into works of art. Number 4. Vejo Ronkinen, Finland. Sculptures are meant to be uplifting and not terrifying, but Vejo Ronkinen is not your typical sculpture park in any way, shape, or form. It was given its name after the artist who was responsible for creating the 550 concrete sculptures that can be found inside. These sculptures, which are all depictions of human beings in a woodland setting, can make visitors feel as though they are being watched or even judged. Some statues even have human teeth in them. Ray Kanen, 
who was known to be a reclusive artist, passed away in 2010, but the forest still receives thousands of tourists on an annual basis. Number 3. Hill of Crosses Located in Lithuania Seeing a single cross is not terrifying. However, hundreds can terrify. Following an insurrection in 1831 in this northern Lithuanian town, crosses began to appear on top of a hill, which led to the hill being given the moniker, the Hill of Crosses. There are currently over 100,000 religious symbols, including rosaries, crucifixes, crosses, and carvings, strewn across the hill. Even though the country was occupied by the Soviet Union between the years 1944 and 1990, and despite concerted removal efforts by the government, the crosses have never been eradicated. Number 2. Akadesawa Fetish Market, located in the country of Togo. The Akadesawa is the world's largest voodoo market, and it is not a place for those who are easily frightened. It is situated in Lome, the capital city of Togo. Imagine yourself wandering among the stalls and coming face to face with the head of an animal or a human being. The people who run the market are Beninese, and it is considered that Benin, not New Orleans or Haiti, is the birthplace of the voodoo faith. These Beninese people think that talismans can connect you with the appropriate medication to treat yourself or get rid of a curse. Number 1. The Cemetery on Maple Hill It was in 1985 when somebody decided to open a playground close to Huntsville's oldest cemetery. Presumably, this was done to provide some relief for the children of grieving parents. Instead, it seems that the spirits who have made their homes there are the ones having the most fun. People have reported witnessing orbs of light descending the slide, and unoccupied swings moving around while being accompanied by disembodied chuckles and laughter. Adding more unease to the situation. Do you like this video? Make sure to give your valuable feedback in our comments section below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.